Hello friends, if you want to know the scrum process in software development, then you are watching the right video. The first phase is requirement gathering and filling the backlog. As you can see, the product owner gathers requirement from the requirement sources. The requirement sources could be a client, a management or marketing team as well. Then he converts those requirements into understandable formats like features, scope, epic and user stories and fills it in the backlog. So a product backlog is a list of features with corresponding epics and user stories. For example, as you can see here in this backlog as eight features and for feature one there are two epics and three user stories for each epic so all features in the backlog will have epics and for each epic there will be some user stories the second phase is backlog refinement Members involved in backlog refinement are the product owner, the development team. Development team includes QA, UX as well as UA members, Scrum Master. Here the product owner is the owner of the backlog. The main features or the objectives of the backlog refinement are the product owner prioritizes the features and corresponding user stories. The product owner explains required features from the backlog to the development team. Team will ensure that each feature have epics and user stories with corresponding acceptance criteria. Then removes items that no longer required in the backlog and estimate the items that is add story points by the development team. St story points are the effort required by the development team to put a user story to life. As you can see the product backlog is being prioritized and for example here feature 4 that is the first feature has 3 epics and 3 user stories for each epic. Estimation and priority has been set to each user stories for feature 4. The next stage is release planning. Members involved in release planning are the product owner, the project manager, release manager, the development team and the scrum master. The main features and objectives of this release planning are velocity or the capacity of the team and the team members will be decided. Which feature can be released will be decided. How many sprints for a release will be decided? Duration of each sprint will also be decided. For example here, based on the velocity and the capacity of the team, the team is decided to release feature 4 in release 1. As we have discussed, feature 4 has 3 epics and release 1 would be after 3 months and for release 1 they have decided to have 3 sprints and the duration of each sprint would be 4 weeks and next at this stage it is not required to decide which user story will be taken for each sprint at this stage 
will only decide how many sprints is required for this release and which feature will be released. Release planning happens once a release. Next stage is sprint planning. Members involved are product owner, the scrum master and the development team. The product owner describes the objective or the goal of the sprint. F say for example here the goal would be to finish sprint 1 with login functionality. Now the development team plans the work necessary to deliver the sprint goal. Every sprint should start with a sprint planning session. The duration of the sprint should sprint should not be more than one hour or with one week. The duration of this sprint planning should not be more than one hour for a one week sprint. So if it is a three week sprint then the duration should not be more than three hours. Now as you can see the feature 4 has three epics and for this sprint team is taken the first epic that is sprint 1 is been taken user story 1 user story 2 and user story 3 the next stage is ongoing sprint and the daily stand up here as you can see in the right hand side this is how the user story journey looks now the team the development team picks one user story <coughs> each developer may pick one user story it is built and it is sent to the QA team the QA team tests the user story or the functionality if it is all good then the product owner signs of the user story that is it is it goes to done state if the QA team raises some bugs then again it is gone to the development team and again it is built then again it is sent to the QA team that is testing purpose then if the test finds all good then it is gone to done state here again the product owner is responsible to sign off and uh, and is responsible for the definition of done if not again build so this process continues now along with that every day there would be a meeting called stand up meeting daily stand up so the members involved in daily stand up would be development team the product owner and the scrum master are optional or not mandatory unless required now what are the features or objectives of daily stand up first team members share their work progress with other members identify any blockers and identify the ways to overcome it daily stand up should be not more than 15 minutes it should happen at the same time every day next the next stage is sprint review and the sprint retrospective in sprint review meeting the members involved are development team the product owner, the scrum master and the customer in some cases but not in all the cases. So the main feature of this sprint review meeting are the development team demos the product to all the stakeholders involved. Get feedback from all the stakeholders regarding the demo. The duration of a sprint review meeting should not be more than one hour for a one week sprint. So if it is a three week sprint, it should not be more than three hours. Then sprint retrospective. The members involved in sprint retrospective are development team, the product owner, the scrum master. This meeting is mainly to understand from the team members what went well, what didn't go well in the sprint, what can be improved and is there any techniques to be implemented. The duration of the sprint retrospective meeting should not be more than 45 minutes for a one week sprint. 
next stage is start a new sprint friends but in the second sprint you will not have any kind of release planning sessions or backlog refinement session the next sprint starts with the sprint planning and ongoing sprint which will have a user story journey and daily stand up meetings and a sprint review and retrospective then again start a new sprint now from this example after three sprints the feature four will be released to the client thank you friends please like my video and subscribe to my channel